So guys, something terrible happened. As you guys know, those of you that have been following us, we love to bike. We bought these two bikes to get, uh, you know, to get around because we, we don't like to be in crowds and all that. Long story. Uh, but we're now here at the place where we always store our bikes. It's a paid, uh, uh, how do you call it? A paid parking. Yeah, paid parking. So they have a lot of bikes here. See, it's huge. It's huge. Really nice guys. But yeah, this morning, me and Mike, before we entered, we started joking with each other because we haven't been here for a couple of weeks, something that we never did. But you know, with the holidays and the weather and all that, you guys know how that goes. We haven't been here. Uh, so when we came here, just before we entered this building, we started joking with each other. Oh my God, you know what? We're not gonna find anything. Maybe just the steering wheel. Maybe this, That's maybe it. that. Yeah, maybe just the, the, the tag, yeah. But That's guess it. what? <laughs> the joke is now reality because <laughs> The wheel is gone. I didn't uh, think anything else. No, we, we never expected that. Uh, so we just talked with the guys, you know, the security guys here, and they, they feel terrible. They said, guys, we feel terrible. We saw it this morning and we knew, you know, you you guys, <laughs> such nice guys and we like you. We feel terrible that this, this have happened with you especially, but this is not something that should happen with anyone. And, you know, so he apologized, but, you know, complicated story. He's like, you know what? But the whole system here is built in such a way that it's impossible for us. We work with two guys. It's impossible for us. Wait, here. Impossible for us to, to guarantee that nothing will happen with your bike. He said that's, that's just the whole thing. Is, the, the whole setup is impossible for us. Um, but why I'm making this video, not only to vent my frustrations with some freaking thieves, you know, they can drop dead. I really hope they can drop dead. That's not what I'm doing this video. But what he told us is something that might help you. He said, when you have your bike placed, parked, even in a paid uh, uh, parking, this is the way you have to secure it. You have to have at least two locks. One that goes from your wheel to the body of your bike. Yeah? One that goes from the wheel to the body of the bike. And then the same thing for the back wheel. Both wheels needs to be, they need to be connected with, with, with the body of your bike. He said, because that way, they'll have to get rid of that body. They have to break that. And when they start to saw here, that's something we'll, have, we'll pick up. He said, but a wheel um, has screws and you can, you can unscrew stuff without making too much noise. So he said, you know that so that happens but what you have to do especially if you have one of these bikes here in, in in a city where you know the lowest of society lives what we call thieves what you have to do is connect your front wheel with the body this i call this the body this this thing the the, the skeleton yeah do that for the back also and he said and if you're next to something like that make also make sure that you're also connected with that so make it almost impossible and very, very unattractive for the thief to even consider thinking about stealing anything off your bike. So, and he said the wheels are the one thing that comes off really, really easy. So um, just, he said, just this, don't encourage them because they look around, they make an assessment, they look around and then they decide for themselves what parts of what wheel are easy to, to you know to, to take off he said so if you, your bike is that unattractive to think about they won't even consider it and they will just uh, leave it and uh, go to someone else so but we don't want anyone you know to have to go through this so that's why we're sharing this with you guys uh, because this is terrible you know and the the sense of security that you thought you have not that, that, that we thought we had that I mean some there is always this voice in your head that says this system doesn't guarantee any safety, but we have no choice. We live very small, we have no choice. So, of course, your inner voice says, this is not good, but you don't have a choice. So, whether inner voice or no inner voice, there's no alternative, so you do what you have to do, even though you don't trust it 100%. That's it, guys. So, and if you are with the two of you, like me and Mike, then connect the wheels to each other. Connect the wheels to each other, the front wheels uh, together, the back wheels together, but that, guys, won't save you. 
So you also have to connect them again with the skeleton somehow. That's what I would say. Do that. All right. Uh, what else? You know, this is, we're now here in the city center of Amsterdam, but this is something that's worldwide. Every big busy city has these scumbags, these thieves. Thieves are not typical for Amsterdam city center. They're typical for every place on earth, in the whole universe. So you'll always have freaking thieves. You can really drop dead. I'm that, I'm that angry right now. But let's not encourage them. Let's make their sad life difficult. Yeah? And, um, you know, uh, do this kind of stuff to make them go away. And if you guys have any better ideas, please share them with us. If you, ha if you have any better ideas, share them with us. And he promised this, that one of our, we call, it, we call him almost a friend. It's that how, that how good of a, count, of a, um, a bond we have them with them here, with these guys in the city center of Amsterdam. Really nice guys. He said what we now have suggested is to have here a cage only for these kind of bikes. So they're going to build here a cage only for these kind of bikes with some sort of an extra security uh, um, uh, thing that you have to go through, some security little gate that you have to go through. Let's hope they'll do that. He says it costs money. The, 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 the boss doesn't like it, but he sees that this is a problem. He says, because this problem is happening more and more. And uh, we feel terrible because we try to protect, we try, you know, to earn your um, trust that you guys have put in us. He says, but it's almost impossible to do our job when the setup is like this. So, anyway, there is guys, and those of you that think, don't they, don't they have monitors? Yes, they have monitors. But even then, he says, but with, with sometimes I'm alone or with one extra guy. And sometimes it's so busy, we don't even have time for monitors, to keep, to keep an eye on monitors. So anyway, please, let's just help each other share these kind of uh, security measures. If you have one that's even better, please share it with us. And let's make the life of these freaking low society bugs as difficult as possible. Take good care of yourselves and your bikes. So guys, one example is, look, this loop here, no matter what you do, it, it, it doesn't open up. So I, I'm taking that one, you know, to secure my wheel with it. See, something like that. So you need to be very strategic about what to use to secure the wheel. Be very strategic. Because if you were to do it here, they can open up this thing where the battery goes in. Yeah, and then you can just take the, the, the lock off, I think, not really sure. But uh, yeah, so just be very strategic about where to place your lock and how to connect it with what part. Uh, so, I don't know. Here's to hoping. And then the front wheels, for now, until we find something else, for now, just connect them together. He says that when two front wheels are connected, two wheels are, are locked together, usually um, they don't like that. Yeah, to get, yeah, so. Let's see, if we find some other uh, ideas, we'll share them with you. But what I'm trying to say is that, even though we have this and I have that, I would be happy to connect this with that. So I'm gonna, you know, find something big enough to connect these two. Why? Why? You say why? Yeah. Well, for the same problem we're talking about. <laughs> This is it, why? Because thieves are getting smarter and more creative. So we just came home. We tried to contact the owner, which is the, the railway company, the owner of the building to see if they can do any substantial thing for us. You know, and of course, the first thing that they throw at you is, you know, the policy. But I said to the guy, you know, just man to man, really, let's just be real here because you want me to do this, you want me to do that, you want me to send even my two keys of the bike, what else, are, how am I going to, to lock up anything? Just just tell it to me straight, uh, is it going to, am I going to end up with anything from you guys? <laughs> you know, and, and he was really clear. Nice guy, he was really clear. He said, now that you've asked me to get real man to man, you know, no, it's not gonna give you anything. <laughs> It's going to be a long procedure. It's not going to give you anything. So I was just trying, you know how that goes. You're still a little bit frustrated. You're trying to work frustrations away. I was, I was trying to see online, you know, what's the deal? What do people say about that? Here is um, an, an acknowledged 
at Paul is a very acknowledged Amsterdam uh, established newspaper. This is what they say here. This is Dutch headline. They say the, um, the paid bike parking is paradise for thieves. So it's only an illusion, guys. It's not going to do anything for you. And we need to keep sharing this to stimulate those big companies to actually do something for the money you give them for your membership that you have because they're not doing anything. I just told them, please, then I'm not good. I'm not, I'm not gonna, uh, uh, you know, uh, file for this theft, but please promise me one thing. Just tell your boss right there that they cannot keep filling up their, their bags with money and not do any real thing to help us actually keep our, our bikes uh, safe. They're not doing anything. So, but yeah, this is what it is. This is these, this, this journalist, God bless them. This is what it is. They just break it down to you, for you. You know, the paid for bike parking is a heaven for thieves. So keep sharing these guys and hopefully, and, and keep keep looking for alternatives. And hopefully, we'll, we'll push them, we'll force them to do more for the money that we give them.